Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective, for whoever, whenever, wherever, if you have stars and planets in your chart, this reading could be for you. Take what you need and leave the rest. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, beautiful day today. Just a little bit of sage. Little trick, you don't need the whole stick. Just to leave is plenty. We're going to clear this space. So today I'm going to be using the... Um, Go Rider Waite, and um, I'm going to be clarifying with Tarot Gazing deck. I'm going to use Portal Oracle and um, my unreleased uh, Fancy Mancy to clarify. Got some geese going in the background. I'm doing this um, as a bit of self promotion because for the month of December, I'm going to be running specials on decks. If you'd like to buy one of my decks, email me. If you'd like to preview one of my decks, I'll put the um, links to the little video previews in the description box below. I'm also going to be running a special on personal readings and gift certificates, so keep an eye out for that. All right, thank you so much for listening. Let's get started. Rider right Wait. One more time and a cut. It said one more time and a cut. Okay. Because we're here to listen. I'm talking a lot, but I'm here to listen. Okay, so we have five of swords, queen of swords, nine of wands. Wow. Page of cups, the hermit, the world, four of swords, judgment, strength. And on the bottom ace of wands something is piquing your interest something is sparking a level of inspiration within you and it could have come from a previous argument keep in mind yesterday's reading also came from that previous um, argumentative energy there and i do believe in the corner of yesterday's reading first card out was five of swords out of the good tarot and now we have um, we have it again but this time it's the queen of swords coming up next to her you can just take a look at that there um being very uh, precise with our communication, being very honest, and um, no beating around the bush. I heard no beating around the bush, especially because if you look at this, it's almost like um, there was this argument and a judgment made, and now there's like this not giving up. Maybe somebody's holding on to something um, that maybe we need to let go of to restore our strength, right? After this argument happens, there's a moment of... Um, of I keep hearing, I hear silence, I hear vigor, I hear uh, vigil. It's like a moment of um, emotional healing. Like, like it, it's like a little bit of emotional communication in the pot. Like all these cards are upright, right? So we're just reading um, intuitively here, but it's like giving yourself that gift of a moment's rest, right? Respite. Um, Keeping an eye out, though, because we have the, the hermit. Under the Queen of Swords, we get the hermit and the judgment card. You know, really, um, are we giving something another chance? Are we allowing something to... It feels like there's like an apology here and then a, a restful healing. And keep in mind, it's like the Five of Swords and then it's going down into the Four of Swords. Like like that re retraction back into a healing space and taking a moment, a time out, right? To allow that to heal. When the Four of Swords comes out, I often say take that moment because if you don't give yourself that moment of respite, that moment to heal, the universe will give it to you. And it will be it will sit you down so um listen to your intuition listen to yourself your body what needs to be um done here how this needs to be handled and go ahead and give yourself that time and space if you are not the queen of swords energy there is a queen of swords energy kind of separating the balance here saying whoa, whoa wait a minute we're gonna take them a second what is actually happening here right moment of enlightenment moving through here the the hermit and the judgment card those are both very spiritual very deep very moving cards and we also have the world here right so we we restore our strength which is interesting because um today's tuning fork that i pulled out was the dna repair We'll play and at four four four. We'll play that at the end, right? We'll we'll do that for us at the end here. Um, but there's this 
taking that time out, that moment of respite to understand what we've learned from the situation that like two cards of time out and taking it a, a moment within, right? The hermit, the hermit goes around and he learns things and he goes by himself and has this lantern that is his own internal light as he like guides his way. And as he goes through and moves through um, tarot land, right? He, he shines this light on and for others, Right, so they can see what this moment of judgment is about when this thing is recalled. We also got judgment yesterday. That was the call. That was the call to your destiny. There it is right there. You know, all of these um, people coming up, at, like like zombie apocalypse style, like coming up out of their coffins. And you have to like look at all of these things that have gone past that are like, you know, I heard like bygones be bygones, right? Let it go, right? And recover from this nine of wands energy here going into the next row. Don't give up. You've come so far. Five, five, five. Keep going, you know, like there's this healing energy and it's like, you know, even though, you know, you may have lost the battle, but you, but you, you still go on. Like, I don't want to say the, the W word because I don't feel like that fits right now. I feel like there's like this peacetime happening. We have the world here, right? That's this positive ending. That's the happy endings card, the completion of the cycle. It's done. It's over with. We've, we've won, right? And then you come out with strength, the graceful strength, the taming of the lion, right? The going in, we, we, we start with this harsh, like stabbing, biting energy, right? These words, this communication, these are things that are hard to recover from, right? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words, well, what? They will keep hurting me if I keep seeing them in the same context. If I keep repeating them to myself, if I keep reliving this experience, there has to be a moment of respite. There has to be a moment of healing where we reclaim the truth within ourselves and how we communicate it to others from the things that we've learned. So when they come back up and we have to re-examine them, we know what it is that needs to be put back down and what it is that can be resurrected, right? And that's why we're not giving up. There's these two nines so close to completion right here by the world. Guess what? It's a new day is dawning. You have the strength to get it. And I know that it is because we're starting off with the overarching energy as the ace of wands. Ace of wands, fire energy. <clears throat> That's that inception. Ace of wands is that, um, the first day of spring, right? It's interesting. The first day of spring, the Roman new year, right? Um, and the Ides of March, Right. So beware of the Ides of March when Caesar gets, you know, stabbed in the back by all of the people of the Senate. Right. And then a new a new year comes, a new day comes. Right. That, that's March 21st is the first day of Aries. And Aries is also the first day of spring. That's what that Ace of Wands is about. That passing of the torch, that like, okay, we've gotten we've gotten past that thing. And so when it comes back and we need to make a judgment about it, we are prepared. We understand. Can I please have on top of the four of swords, we get the four of pentacles. All right, and it came out sideways. What is it that sideways here? What is it that we're holding on to? What is it that we're letting go of? What is it that we need to keep close to our chest? I heard keep it close to your chest. And what is it that can be released, right? Because sometimes when we hold on to these th things, they can make us sick. All right, Hermit, Queen of Swords, can we have one for this row, please? Knight of Staves. Really excited to be moving forward in a new direction. Kind of impulsive here. This might be what this whole thing is about, is impulsivity, because quite the opposite of that is the Queen of Swords, where she's like, well, did you think about it? Can I have the list of facts? Give me the data and I'll analyze it and get back with you on my on my decision, right? And the Knight of Wands is like, I'm going out there, I'm doing this. We're going to get in trouble. And that's what's going to happen here. You know, there's a good side, there's a light side, and there's a dark side to everything. And this is like almost like spurring you into action. Be careful of your impulsivity, but don't let your reservations keep you from moving forward. Right. Really active, very quick moving, very quick moving energy. Can we have one for the Nine of Wands, the World card, and Strength, please? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I know what I'm not working on anymore. We know what we're not giving to. We know what we don't need to learn. Interesting, too, is eight over the eight. 
On the bottom, we get injustice. I say injustice. It's justice in the reverse. Right? To gain some strength from that. Maybe there is no justice in this situation. And that's why we just need to re re back up from it. Right? Is that what that communication is? Let's find out. What is this? What is this Queen of Swords talking about here? Letting go of our defenses. Seven of Staves in the reverse. Seven of Staves. They're all coming after her. She's standing around. We have a lot of defensive. We were getting a lot of defensive stuff last month. Maybe when all this was going on, because remember, it moves from it moves from this row to that row. It moves from the the five of swords row to the queen present to the future, what it's developing into. And keep in mind, tarot is a, prescri a prescription, not a prediction. You have free will. You you can make choices here. If this applies to you, and you don't like what it's saying, you don't like the turnout of it. Alter your perception, and then alter your actions to better suit the health and betterment of everyone involved in the situation. And then you, you'll, you know, maybe this, these types of things will turn out differently, but sometimes this, like I ask for your greatest and highest good, it's giving you this out of light. It's telling you that if this was the previous situation, it's time for you to take a rest, let go of your defenses, let go of your defenses, seven of wands into the nine of wands. What messages are this, is this hermit bringing us? Seven of Swords. Damn. Seven of Swords could be um, lying, cheating, stealing, treachery, right? It could also be strategy. Moving um, in a very calculated and covert way, right? With a hermit talking about this, we have them all are like, if you look at the middle row, the world, the hermit, and the um, page of cups are all pointing in this other direction here everyone's looking in this other direction except that queen of swords except that queen of swords now we have two sevens seven seven coming out so can you tell us a little bit about this seven of swords now remember this is what we learned about ace of coins ace of coins so we're going to just talk about this if we're letting down our defenses and the hermit is bringing us this information and we have the four of four of swords coupled with the four of pentacles why we're going to read this this way because what this means is that we have to be strategic in the way that we move with our um, material investments with what is coming to us with which the next way that we go we gotta take our you know seven two sevens is also like kind of sacrificing in love you know, and maybe it was something that we loved or people that we loved or situation, but I'm telling you the only cup that's out thus far is this page of cups and they can be very naive. Think of the fool. As I say that, the fool. I'm talking about this page of cups and we get this fool card. And I can't help but notice their hats. You can go, dog, go. Hello, sir. Do you like my hat? No, sir, I do not. Thank you. You know, don't be naive. Look at the facts. Let go of your defenses. If some people around you were um, being mean, treacherous, use the facts here to um, don't give up, but release the situation and move forward. You listen to your own internal light here. Can you tell me about this uh Judgment, world, and strength, please. This bottom corner. Can you tell me about the bottom corner? So we had the eight of eight of pentacles out there, the apprenticeship card, and now we have the three of pentacles with the nine of swords in reverse. You are the master of your own world. You've worked hard to do this. You 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 have a people um, around you. You have a community around you um, who respects your work, who wants to talk to you about what it is that you do, about the things that you have to bring to the table, right? Who um will will alleviate and relieve the stress, the mental anguish, and the thoughts that were happening in this previous situation. You learned a lot from this previous situation. And by giving yourself time to heal and restore the clarity and understanding of what's actually happening within you and out on the outside of you, you understand what's best to put to bed and which is best to move forward, right? No longer working on this thing or with these people or in this situation, take it as it resonates, will 
um, allow you to move forward in graceful strength. You're not giving up. You're just not going that way anymore. We're going to take a different route because you've you've earned this. And that's also why it's telling you to be more strategic with your material investments and what way you're going with them because you've built this empire, right? So be careful of, be careful of impulsiveness or people who are impulsive or who would put less value on your hard work, kindness, understanding, and know-how. Right, your potential. If they're putting less value on that, or trying to keep you down because they, um, whatever their reasons are, varies. You know, um, it's time for you to move forward, and it's telling you that uh, you have what it takes. Just be be mindful of your steps. We have one more card, please. We get one more card, and we get three. And that's exactly what it's saying here. Be careful of people who would use manipulation to couple with you. Um, be careful of Don Juan energy here. Now we have the Knight of Staves out and we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. This could be really like player energy, like play like here for a good time, but not for a long time using manipulation tactics to keep you um, coupled with them. But like, it's like a false soulmate relationships. So that could be anything, um, you know, take it where it resonates. That could be romantic. That could be friendship, familial, um, but they are using your uh, like emotions to manipulate. And I think that that's coming out strong here. Like, what is that judgment card about? And it's got the Knight of wands on top of it so just be mindful of that uh like uh, it's like casanova energy but if you can apply that to um like i said any any type of ship partnership of any kind because it's the two of cups um five of coins on the bottom is the overarching energy you know restoring your faith and placement in the uh in the world that you're building no longer feeling left out no longer feeling lack energy here Really moving forward with, with grace and confidence. So you have that Leo energy as the foundation of the future here. Strength card. All right. Shuffling portal oracle. But it actually said use fancy mancy. So we're just going to get some advice on each of these little sections here. All right. Can we have some of this uh, top information here with the... Um, being being logical and communicating about this we have the seven of swords the ace of pentacles the three of coins the queen of swords and the nine of wands can we talk about this uh it says alchemy and it came out in the reverse see how hard they are to see that's why they're not published i don't know if you can see it but anyway it's um it's a dragonfly wing with a bunch of little bottles right here and it came out in the reverse and I'm dropping it yeah some things just don't mix some things just aren't gonna work there might not be a way to transcend that other thing previously and so the advice on that is um, a be realistic about some things here gold in the reverse yeah there could be um, I mean take it as a take it as it resonates C See what has value and we'll see what doesn't. See what is draining your value and what isn't. See what types of conflicts are meant to put or put on your path um, by others in order to keep you from getting to your goals and be strategic about how you do reach your goals because that's going to relieve a lot of stress. If you're not giving these treacherous people, these backbiting win at all costs competitive people if you're not giving or situations if you're not giving those um light then you're seeing that they're they're actually draining the value of the the potential of your coin right i want you to see that all right and then can you tell me about this uh bottom row with this judgment this knight of knight of vessels in reverse magician in reverse two of vessels in reverse knight of staves four of staves strings in the reverse to give her no strings attached no strings attached if you're making an investment into something or someone and you have emotional strings that red string that chinese say connects us all right it, it behooves the whole situation and yourself to make sure that that the weaving of emotional bonds of financial bonds of material of spiritual bonds of all of those things are equally woven otherwise you're gonna have a bunch of rip strings on your side and they're just gonna get off scot-free all right mm. revolution in the reverse it's not revolution revelry revelry to revel in something right 
and it's actually these like it's like this angel I don't know if you could see her but it's like the statue here looking over like a burning trash can and there's like a tree with all of these leaves falling off of it and it's got shoes hanging from it and it's just like really like look at what it once was but look at what it has become right and no longer seeing the um, spark value um, and it, what is that right maybe this is with the like i said if this is a circumstance it's like no longer shining to you because of the because now you're seeing it for the truth for what it is right and like moving away from that and then patience in the reverse excuse me real quick from nine like this whole deck isn't in the reverse but all these cards that we're getting are coming out so patience it's all these clocks and a nice green background because things take time to grow and so it's almost like losing our patience with people who are like this losing our patience with situations who are like this because it keeps us from being able to invest and weave our strings and create our alchemy and create our gold and we're really seeing that and there's the train and underneath here we have layers layers train is really honking yeah this is a complicated situation but I think that we're seeing our way out of it we're really understanding the nuts and bolts of it and really starting to accept um, what needs to be held on to and what needs to be let go of if we really want to make our make our place in the world and really get our um, get ourselves together and also like avoid future calamity I heard of 2121 the rest Wow we're gonna we're gonna the gates and then charge in the reverse the gates could be like the gates of hell it's like a passageway through like do you really want to enter there it's guarded for a reason right and then in charge and it's like um some things you know are it feels like I have someone else stealing our authority to be able to make our own passageways through or to be able to enter into places. We have the five of coins out here in the reverse with in charge and the gates in the reverse. And then we have regenerate on the bottom. Yeah, it's time to move forward. Fool card. It's time to move forward and start something new. I'm going to read us the rest. So here's the book. If you get the, if you get the deck, this is the book that um, goes with it. We get there sold together. We're separate. You can get just the book on Amazon. Okay. We've come so far. How about the rest? Life is hard work and it can be exhausting. There is a time to go, go, go and a time to sit. Resting isn't doing nothing. Resting is rejuvenating, healing, calming, and necessary. When we go too long without it, we can become versions of ourselves that don't make much sense. We are not, we are not at our best. It could be the struggle between the waking and the dreaming. Resting lets us regain the clarity that comes with the good night's sleep and the healing that can only be done in the dream state. Allow yourself this time. Don't worry about the rest. Right? That's what this advice is right now. Right? That's what this advice is right now. Four of swords, four of coins in that row. This is only going to be achievable if we give ourselves that moment of rest. It's just reiterating that point. Um, I hope that was helpful for you, 2323. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thank you for uh, coming back and seeing us again next time.